Boy, can you ever see the before and after. <laughs> Not it, really. It's different carpeting. Should I test it and see? What do you think? What's it smell like? Yeah, that's poop. That's poop. Just to set up a shot. What do I do? Ah, ah, ah. Boy, that knee is just perfect. Nope, not at all. <laughs> no way. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to Sager Steam Clean and welcome to the channel. I'm back from Florida now. I came home early just to do videos and recording and cleaning for you. Well, that's kind of an excuse, but. Nerd factor high, intelligence low, low. And it's raining, oh, I'm getting wet. Oh, this is so much fun. I can't see nothing. Christine, come on, behave. I'll be back. Well, this is a two bedroom unit. Over there, you can see a wear spot in front of where the chair was, and there'll be a few other stain, spill spots, thrills in here. Let me get you a little walk around quick. Wear paths, they're not gonna come out. Might get better. Some of this is from the chair. Looks like maybe some potential spills or graphite, which is a whole nother venture when you're doing graphite. Not too bad a shape. This is one of the last remaining nylons, I think, that they have in here, at least I think it's a nylon. Uh, we're not gonna match that. That is a different shade, different color. If I match that, I'll be impressed. Or I got something else going on with the system. <laughs> that shouldn't be in there. Another wear path, usually along these edges, he's pretty worn. Wear, wear, spill stain spot. Hopefully it's not a stain when I'm done with it and I can get it out. Not too bad though. I think Aaron and Brady have some more difficult ones. So, Pretty good, except for me continually having to hop out this window. It's not a bad job. So the trusty old workhorse, I just basically put it away. I actually broke a part on it too that arrived, snapped a plastic piece in the inside cone. Replaced that this morning, but I don't know where my filters are. Whoa, now I know. Well, here's a new filter. These are washable, but obviously I'm not gonna wash that and use that. These are what's called pre-filters. Let me show you what this looks like. I gotta get that outside. Whoa. So I'm not sure the last job I did with this, but that'd be interesting to find out. Must have been a dog version. So that was the main filter, which like new, it's gonna look like that. <laughs> you recognize it? This little tray comes right off here. This here's the other little pre-filter. You can kind of brush and blow those out, but we got new. So we're gonna do that right there. Put her together, put a new one in, and put it back in the old vacuum cleaner. Much better before, after, or after, before. There, uh, she's in.
into a little more soils here in this bedroom. There it is. It's could be more dust bunnies under here that didn't get absorbed in their vacuuming, but there's dirt. Definitely dirt. That's what we got out of it. Okay, you're loud. Really loud. Settle down. Get this hooked up. Oh, engaged my pre spray thing and release the pressure. Oh, stop it! Rookie! This is fresh code red. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Just mixed it up. I want it fresh so the oxy is going to work on some of these pots and stains that we have an issue with. Don't know if it'll take it out, but it's sure going to help us. So let's get brightening up this carpet. Bad skills. Suddenly, my hose got easier. Look who it is, everybody! <laughs> I also found my mitt that you've had since we did uh, the booths at uh, really? Ground Ground. Or not ground Ground. Well, I do have two of them in my bag. I was using that on my RV. Yep. <laughs> Aaron's removing the BVs out of my glide that got stuck in there in December on my last job, and I closed the. When I basically shut the door in my van and left for Florida. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. It's been there since. It's been there, two of them. You should have saw the fuzzy item I had in my vacuum when I opened that sucker up and checked the filter. Half Ooh. a dog. Half a dog, it was, yeah, it was at least a gerbil. Oh, well, a hamster probably, it was big, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, well obviously you're ahead of me because there's two of you and you're faster and I'm slow and old and. Yeah, well, <laughs> my partner's old too. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a bum knee too. All right, let me get rolling. This is going to get a little more juice. You got to get those soils suspended and do that. You got to get those fibers swimming in the pre spray a little bit. Let them have some fun. Yellow, yellow, green, green, yellow. All right, this is a 10 inch CRB, counter rotating brush. There's two brushes underneath there. They rotate opposite each other when it's rolling. I like the 10 inch because I fit it in my van. It's easier, it, I'm not carrying that big lug thing in and out. And it works really great in tight areas and residentials that I use it on commercial. If I were to do a large, large commercial area only and capping with a CRB, I'd definitely get at least a 17 inch, 15, 17. Varies how they call them the name, but they're that size. So, let's get busy. Okay, to make this thing work, first of all, see this handle here? It ain't gonna go and it's not going anywhere and I can't get the handle down. There's a switch right here. Push on it. But if you're pulling back on it, you can't get that switch to work. Keep the pressure and keep it forward, switch down. Pull back, boom, give her a push. Now she's working. Boy, is it ever. <laughs> it's doing wonderful. All right, we're gonna agitate this up, fluff it up. Get that pre-spray more active on those spot spills, stains, and not make them permanent stains. Oh yeah, that's gonna be better. See how good that looks right now? Sometimes we've done jobs where people say, looks marvelous, let me get you a check. Uh, I'm not done yet. I'm gonna actually extract that too. Make it even maybe a little better, but depends what chemical you're using, and et cetera, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, it looks darn good a lot of times after an agitation.
You're not going to get those entirely out because the pad is actually crushed. So we're only manipulating the top surface of the carpet, trying to fluff it up a little bit. But that pad eventually will give itself up, come back to life. There. Done. So that's going to need some just like magic after rinsing it, I'm, I'm going to bet. And I can tell they tried to clean it themselves. You see all that extra foam coming out there on the side? No, yeah, that's just a reaction. So we'll cut through that too. That's the reason I didn't want to treat it first. I want to try to get our chemistry on and extract. But I almost put down her just like magic. I thought, oh, let's give her some Dalton. Well, I just decided a little wait. We'll clean it out, get the chemistry out, and go from there. Sophie! All right, so this is something really extremely important to maintain these units and keep them from going bad. The bearings going bad, hair getting up in there and pushing the bearings in and out. They're sealed bearings, but you still you'd get a ton of crud in there that can hurt them. So what we do is we just go backwards like this, but we take and we suck all that junk out of there. Suck the moisture and the junk off the brushes. Hope you can hear me. Okay, usually go this way, spread it out. It's gonna take anything that's stuck in there and move it outward better from on the bottom, where it gets up top in the tower there. Get them clean, people. Then, you wanna make sure you put them in your tray. The tray has bevels in them, so these here brushes don't crush. If they were to crush for some reason, soak them in really hot water, they should come back to life, but just don't let them crush. See? Simple. cleaning with Christine the butler in 2024. Got to get the kinks worked out here. All right, here's one, down here's one. Come on, what's that garbly goop? There, there, I'm weird. Dry passes, yeah, we do them. So basically we are now rinsing the chemistry and the soils that we suspended out of the fibers here. And of course, doing dry passes, which is an extra cleaning pass. Little brown stain there. She gone. Well, there might be a little, little brown there. I'll treat it with some just like magic. That'll take care of it. All right, so that's right here. Miss that on there a little bit. And uh, just groom it to get more active and down to the bottom there where the spill might have been. That's already looking better. Now, just like magic is a peroxide-based product that is used for oxidizing 
which over time it laps, it'll just keep working on the stain to brighten it and lighten it. Now people say, oh, you could just go get out and get yourself a regular peroxide, you know, from like Sally's down there, of 20 volume or 40 volume. Well, this is a 9.9% .9 peroxide and it has other qualities in it to help keep that carpet soft, keep the peroxide a little more in control versus just a plain old peroxide from say Sally. So that debate and argument saying we're just making this try to sell product. No, we are making it sell product, but we're trying to help you and make it better for you, safer for you, less likely to harm the carpets. And you have an SDS sheet with this that's built and intended for carpet cleaning purposes. Get you down here close and personal. Hey! Did I get you? Okay. Just about. He scared me. All right. So here we are right now. This is where that bad spot was. Watch right here. Also in the top of the head, I can see. Can you see yourself in there, Carol Merrill? I wasn't in there. Yeah. My hands, were hands by Aaron. Look at how much better that is already, though. And we don't just flush it once. We'll flush it a couple times especially the bad area, but that's way, way better. He can tell. I am. Can this go up here out of your way or no? Sure. Yeah, you want me to show you how to clean and you can just tell Oh. So these guys are mic'd up. They were just making another video for y'all in other rooms and I'm being a slow poke. Yet or not. No, no. We figured with building and one guy. Yeah. No shot. No shot. We should probably get a tripod for that thing. Yep, we can do that. I think it's the same as that one. With the we'll, screw on the bottom. We'll try her. I think it is. What are those, Brady? Dry passes. Oh, he's humbly. Your dry he humbly says dry passes. <laughs> Can't tell if that's a shadow or what that is. Gonna need some treatment. Yeah, that's an ugly moment. It'll take some time to take that out of there. Are we in picture mode now? <laughs> that's what it looks like. <laughs> The man, the myth, the legend, right there. Right there? Yeah, right, right there. there, it's Brady. <laughs> Doesn't look like a very big house, so that's okay, that gives me time to go get my hair cut. Oh, you can get a haircut? No, I'm going to. Oh, I see that. It's long. You're getting scruffy, huh? <laughs> it's time for a haircut. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I was just gonna shave my head, but Jenna wouldn't let me. Huh. Did it you might, do in there yet or no? No, I have not. It might not grow back. It might not. <laughs> you got better hairline than I do. Oh, dude. I was born with a full head of hair and it was jet black when I was born. <laughs> and now it's white. Yeah, well, now it's just gray white. 
My goatee used to be really dark too when I got married with Sherry. Yeah. Oh my gosh, my goatee was dark. Didn't notice it over all this time. Focus, focus in on there. <laughs> Let the best wand made do the work. There you are. We'll get that. Hey, I'm finally getting a little heat out of it too. Smooth like butter. These glides are a lifesaver. Oh, they're great. Yeah. Take that. Can you ever see the before and after? <laughs> Not it, really. It's different carpeting. Should I test it and see? No. What do you think? What's it smell like? Yeah, that's poop. That's poop. That's poop. <laughs> you wonder how we test for poop sometimes? Good old nostrils. And we bring him. Somebody's got to do it. Coughing up the fur ball now? <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're getting into that nasty spot that's going to need some help probably with some just like magic at the end. You know what? Huh. I think I was in here for poop. You were in here for poop? I think I was this huh. winter. Oh, and no. I think that was there. Oh no. I'll have to look and see on the schedule if it was this room or not. Yeah. So we'll treat that with just like magic and let it do its magic. Yeah, maybe she'll come out. Yeah. I'll have to double check. I think I was in here. You remember that? You do want to get it in fairly liberal. That's what will actually do the oxidizing and work on it. It's already starting to change color a little bit too. Hey, Aaron, I think it's already starting to go. She might go? Yeah, it's going to go. It will. It'll be fine. We're on the final passes here, at least they are. Can't say, tell you how much I appreciate them coming in because I was trying to get the rust off of me and boy, I think I'm gonna need a whole body panel rebuild, guys. <laughs> I need an elbow rebuild. Elbow? Oof. Yeah. This room's too small. Yes, it is. Somebody asked me why we don't use zippers on like one of the videos you did. And it's just, there's no room to really do it yeah. well. So well, you need a wand, you need I some room. once you get over that seven, 800 square feet, then the zipper's worth it. I almost brought it out in here, but, but. <laughs> but here we are. Here we are. Well, it looks darn improved. Oh yeah. Way better. You wanna trade wands? Nope, but we're gonna have them both rebuilt here. Yeah, so. mine needs a rebuild. Yep. So does my knee again. <laughs> Well, everybody, thanks again for being here, checking out the channel. Maybe a comment, thumbs up, like would be great. Would help us get the old Google Rhythm thing. Look at that. What's up with that lighting? What happened to my lighting? Brady's in the light. Oh, that's it. He's outdoors. He's outdoors. Anyway, thanks again. Maybe even consider subscribing. We'd love to see you back again. And until the next time, I thank these guys immensely for coming and bailing yeah. me out. Leave a comment if you think that spot's coming out. Yeah, that's a great idea, and we'll try to find <laughs> out as well, too. If I can just get the lighting to work, I don't know what it is. It's good enough. It's good enough. Sorry. Nobody needs to see our ugly mugs anyway. It's just mine. All right, we're out. Bye. <laughs> Got sweat in my eyes. It's burning, guys. I, guys, I, I sweated. It's burning. I'm bur I, I sweated. Yes. <laughs>
she's off. Where are you going, Miley? Come here. What do you think, Luna? Come on, Miley, let's go. Let's go find out what's going on. Look out, here she comes. There she is, Luna, get her. <laughs> come on, let's go, you two. <laughs> get, come on, let's go there, kill her. <laughs> Could be home and off the leash. <laughs> Hey, you, you know I have to go here, hon, don't you? Yeah, I have to go. Can you run back in the house? Because I got to get going. I got to go clean with the boys, okay? 